amidst the vibrant backdrop of nature, the burning bush emerges as a captivating character of the horticultural stage. Native to the enchanting lands of Asia, this flowering plant holds within its branches a tale of beauty and danger, woven with threads of color, scent, and toxicity. Like a painter's palette of flame, the burning bush sets autumnal landscapes ablaze with its fiery red foliage. As the seasons turn, its leaves transform into living embers, casting a spell of enchantment upon gardens and parks. The name Burning Bush finds its origin in this fiery spectacle, a testament to its remarkable fall transformation. A woody sentinel rooted in well-drained soil and bathed in the tender embrace of the sun, the Burning Bush unfurls its story with every growth ring. Stretching skyward, it reaches for heights of 10 to 15 feet, although the hand of landscape artists often trim its ambitions to a more modest stature. Yet within its branches lies a paradox of both allure and peril. In regions far from its native realm, the burning bush takes on the mantle of invader. Its prolific seed production becomes a whisper carried on the winds, an invitation for avian travelers to spread its progeny far and wide. What was once a picturesque addition to a garden can rapidly morph into a voracious interloper, invading forests with dense thickets and cast a shadow over native flora. The tale of the burning bush transcends its physical presence, delving into the realm of danger as well. A whispered warning lingers beneath its leaves, for this charismatic plant carries within it the potential for harm. Known by various names, wahoo, summer cypress, strawberry bush, and spindle tree, its exterior is toxic at its core. It's a sinister secret that lies within where alkaloids lurk, capable of casting an upset stomach upon unsuspecting canines. The narrative deepens as clinical signs of its venomous touch unfold, vomiting, diarrhea, abdominal pain, and weakness. The burning bush with its alluring leaves and berries reserves its poison for the greedy mouths that dare consume them. Yet it's not merely ingestion that bears caution, for the burning bush wields a double-edged sword. Its touch, though not venomous, can incite sunburn upon the skin. It's a strange dance of harm and protection. The tale takes an even darker twist as it delves into cardiac glycosides, adding an ominous note to the symphony. With the heart of the burning bush, these compounds stir, amplifying its toxic potency and bearing the potential to ensnare both animals and humans. As the seasons pass and the burning bush's narrative endures, with the fall comes a bounteous harvest of berries, a feast that provides perilous to pets and humans. Yet life thrives within its branches, a testament to its longevity. Under the careful guidance of caretakers, a burning bush can flourish for decades, growing steadily with each passing year. The guardians of this tale offer counsel, though. Water to quench its thirst, prune to sculpt its form, plant in the embrace of sun or shade. Missteps in care like poor drainage or excessive shade can write a somber chapter of decline and demise. Yet a glimmer of hope resides within its story. A burning bush can be felled to the ground and rise anew, respouting with vigor. This narrative of resilience unfolds in early spring as the bush awakens from its winter slumber. But caution is advised. Severe pruning should be reserved for times when overgrowth or illness threatens its essence. A few odd facts laced throughout the story, like precious jewels gleaming amidst the tapestry of life. Leaves that blaze in red splendor, stems adorned with corky wings, roots that once held the power to lower fevers and combat infections. Flowers, like whispered secrets, release a lemony fragrance mingled with flammable gas. 
but as with all legends, there lies a darkness. The leaves harbor oils that kindle flames and sting tender skin. A botanical paradox where the allure of the fragrance conceals the peril of the contact. These are Interesting Things with J.C.